Located in Huntsville, Alabama, just off of Interstate 565, you'll find one of Alabama's most popular attractions, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Huntsville is home to the Marshall Space Flight Center, one of NASA's largest and most important centers. This is where the Saturn V rocket was developed for the Apollo program that took man to the moon, and where the cutting-edge space launch system is being developed to take us back to the moon and eventually to Mars. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center is the official visitor center for the Marshall Space Flight Center and is an incredible facility. Driving down the interstate, you're met with a full-size replica of the Saturn V rocket towering over you as you arrive. Once you've made your entrance into the main building, you'll begin with an exhibit on space and popular culture with all sorts of memorabilia from the space age. From there, you make your way into one of the main exhibit halls, which has many different objects on display, including this scale model of the Space Launch System for the Artemis program. There is also a mock-up of Human Landing System for the Artemis program as well. Another exhibit branches off of this hall, focusing on the work of Huntsville's Redstone Arsenal and supporting the U.S. Army with development of the cutting-edge missiles and other advanced weapons technology. After making your way through the military exhibit, you can try out some different simulator experiences to find out if you have what it takes to be a NASA astronaut. These are not included in the admission price, but they look like a lot of fun. Our favorite exhibit here, though, is the International Space Station exhibit. First off, you'll see a full-size replica of the Payload Operations Integration Center, located at the Marshall Space Flight Center. From there, you can enter a life-size mock-up of the two ISS modules with videos of the astronauts showing you how all of the critical equipment works to sustain life aboard the space station. For anyone who has ever dreamed of being an astronaut, this is one of the coolest experiences imaginable. Would you say the little boy inside of you is living his best life? Little boy and full grown adult. <laughs> Once you've come back down to Earth, you can make your way outside to see the many outdoor exhibits of various rockets, missiles, and military equipment on display in the rocket park. One of the park's signature pieces is the Space Shuttle Pathfinder, complete with her rocket boosters and fuel tank. This was the first test vehicle of the Space Shuttle program. Currently, Pathfinder is undergoing a complete restoration and is not on display, but the rocket boosters and fuel tank are still pretty cool to see. Nearby, there are also a couple of NASA training aircraft on display. This one may or may not have chased us down the runway, so watch out for yourself. The centerpiece of the park includes a complete Saturn I rocket, which was a predecessor to the much larger Saturn V. Much of the park is in the early stages of a major renovation, so it's only going to get better in the future. There are also a few amusement park rides, which are an interesting feature at a museum to say the least. Many different pieces of military equipment are on display as well, ranging from a Chinook helicopter to various different missile and air defense systems. After seeing all of the outdoor exhibits, you can enter the crown jewel of the Space and Rocket Center, the Davidson Center for Space Exploration. This facility opened in 2008 and was built to house a real-life Saturn V rocket. The rocket developed right here at Marshall Space Flight Center, which took man to the moon in the Apollo program. This rocket is one of only three that are left in existence and is laid horizontally in the building with each stage separated so you can see how truly massive and complex this feat of engineering was. In addition to the Saturn V rocket, there are many other exhibits here as well, including a full-size V2 rocket which was developed by Werner von Braun, who was a German scientist before being brought to the U.S. after World War II to work on our space and rocket programs. One of the most interesting items on display is the command module from Apollo 16 in which the astronauts splash back down to Earth from space after having landed on the moon. There's also a full-size replica of the first American space station, Skylab, which you can enter and see what it was like for the astronauts living there. This facility is spectacular and full of history, ingenuity, and reminders of Alabama's huge contributions to the accomplishments of our nation during the space age, as well as the major role our state will continue to play in the future of space exploration. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for regular updates on where we are going next. 
Thanks for watching Sparks of Discovery.